How's it going, everyone? We are back out on my boat today. Um, I am picking up Oliver and Parker up here at the dock, and we are going to go try to catch some sheephead. Um, hopefully, we can get into some of the larger grade sheephead with the live mackerel I also bought. I'll show you guys. specifically target the sheep head. Um, so we also have squid, but a lot of times when you drop squid down, you catch you know, white fish, other rock fish, random stuff. So if you kind of want to target sheep head, um, I've used this shrimp before, I know that works great. Never tried the crawdad, so that's, this is more just kind of like a novelty thing. We'll see if they actually eat it or not. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna make some mackerel. We're gonna drop live mackerel down. There are some, like I said, some big sheep head that live on the spot. So hopefully we can get some of the bigger grade ones. If not, then just pull on some whatever kind of sheep head we can catch and assorted rock fish and stuff. But yeah, so we're gonna head out. Uh, the spot's, I don't know, probably 20, 30 minute run. Uh, got a little bit of a later start than I wanted to. There's a pretty thick fog bank, so I had to wait for it to lift a little bit. But um, yeah, so we're gonna head out, pick them up, go make some mackerel and try to catch some sheep head. What up? What up? Good morning. Good morning. It's a sick ass little rig, man. <laughs> a little skiff, dude. Hell yeah. I don't see these little parkers too often. No, dude. Um, yeah, I've only seen a handful of them over here. Did that chum bucket thing come with like its own little grinder or like masher in there or something? Yeah, so. <laughs> Funny, you know, I it, it did, but obviously this is a, a ghetto one that I, I rigged up, but I lost it. Oh, that thing's badass. It came with a nicer one, but I lost the top to it. And I don't make my own, but yeah. Ah. Oh, you're bit. <laughs> oh, we're bit. <laughs> we're bit. <laughs> Why? Got all of the rod holder, buddy. Oh, I that. <laughs> they come off? Yeah, they're, they're, they're coming in thick, though. They're right here now. Winning. So sick. That's a big one. That's a tank, dude. Do they like uh, a certain size? Dude, if, they're, if the big ones are there, they eat the big. The big. That's so badass. <laughs> I kind of want to do like, huh, what do you guys think is going to work better? Yeah. Shrimp, crayfish, squid, yeah. or live mackerel. Live mackerel. A lot of people don't believe me, dude, but big sheep head will. I believe you. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I'll de-hook for you. <laughs> That's a big one too, dude. It's go time, baby. You guys see that fancy underhand flip? That's how you get oh, instant bit. You almost don't want a baby. Yeah, then they just tangle you up. I'll, I'll take ones and twos if it's... That's perfect. Interesting out. So you can like people that reel the spinning left and yep. reel fake casters right. I'm like I can't do the righty <laughs> on the spinning. Okay, I'll back. Thought it was easy, huh? <laughs> Four hour long video of me not catching a single mackerel. So just to show you guys, the cameraman wanted in on the action. <laughs> Making bait is this much fun. No lie. If you can't appreciate catching Pacific mackerel on a sabiki, what you don't do you deserve doing? to be fishing. Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> gosh. Oh, oh. Oh, double. He's <laughs> got two. Dude, they fight pretty hard. They do. There we go. Nice. How much fun was that? A lot. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let us drift and kind of figure out which direction we're drifting here. Um, I'll let you guys drop mackerel the first time. Uh, okay. 
obviously you'll you'll feel the mackerel doing mackerel stuff down yeah. there but it, when it gets picked up it'll just like like they it's i don't know if they're biting and spitting it out a bunch uh-huh but they literally like chew them in half that's so all right that's perfect so it's like almost you kind of like want to pull tension and feel it load up and then just wind into them okay uh, because a lot of times you'll set the hook and literally reel up just like the head okay and they don't eat everything else off it's weird so let them get it then wind it yeah up. you'll you'll feel them you just yeah kind of wind into it and you want to feel the tension and then just let them have it there's some stuff right there i got like my old cron arcs uh oh 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 yeah, that's that's getting chewed on. Oh, did it. Drop it. Yeah. So we just got our first engagement of the day. I was chewing on this mackerel. It's like a lot of self-discipline not to rear down on that thing. I saw oh, it. Yeah. He's back. Uh -oh. See how hard that thing was pulled. Dude, this rod is <laughs> dope. That was so cool. Dude. On, four, on 40? 45. I told you there's some big ones here, man. That's nuts. Chomp, when chomp. I button that drag right now. <laughs> now here's, here's my only caveat. Uh, I follow the lead of the captain, but I hate polymer knots. I hate them. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know if that was the knot. What do you think? Mean, you tell me. Do you, do you think he chewed oh, it off? No. Look at that. What do you guys think? You've seen enough busted lines. I mean, there's a little chafe there. He might have just ate me. They do have big teeth. Nah, that's that's chewed off. It's, it's got to be. Don't you think? That's f <laughs> 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 That was a good one. That's kind oh, of a bummer. Geez. Well, hopefully there's more down there. Okay. Am I on? <laughs> I guess I'm on. Yeah, you got something going. I'm not? Why? No? Nothing? Yeah, I'm on. I think it's just small. Really? I don't know what the Four inch sculpin. On a eight inch mackerel? That's impressive. Uh oh. Double trouble. Adam's on. Another whitefish, maybe? I don't know if you guys saw, but Adam dropped the double dropper loop with a chunk of squid and was that a prawn or is it a shrimp? So, yeah, so, one, one of the two. <laughs> Parker, what do you got going on here, man? You look very fish. confused. Oh. Uncertain variety. Oh, hey! Oh. Brown? Yeah, that's a brown. Sick that's a keeper. Eat. That's a good one. Is it a keeper? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, a sand bass. That that a what? Of species. Look at this. <laughs> Chew. That was on the squid. The, the shrimp got bit, too, though. Yeah. yeah. Let me see that thing. How happy are you right now? It's a brown largemouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little spikier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, check that out, little sand bass. We got a rockfish and we have a, a whitefish all at the same spot. Brad. Nice. No variety. Cool. So, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Uh -huh. right. so you got a swimmer this time. Come on. A bit. Are you? I think so. Hold on. Get that camera out. Hold on. Go and sit on him? No, just wind fast and lift. Are you ready? Hold on. 
down there? I are think you, pretty sure, yeah. Are you bit? Uh, I'm bit. <laughs> oh, wine, 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 wine. Get him up off the bottom. Steady, wine, steady, wine, steady. Wine. steady. Steady. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's cornhole. Uh, Did he rock you? Yeah. Came out, grabbed it, and went back to his home. Nope. Here you go. Did you have anything on yours, or you just got... I got, I got picked clean, dude. I'm going to drop a crawdad down. Oh. Tell that. I don't know where you're right now, partner with your friends. All right. Going with the crawdad. Just spun off on the way down. Let's see if the crawdad gets bit. Oh, oh. Dude, on the crawdad. <laughs> what is it though? It's it's fighting like a white fish. I'll be I'll be upset if it's a white fish on the crawdad. Adam, what's going on? <laughs> uh, the crawfish got bit. I don't know what it is yet. Kind of feels like a whitefish. Looks substantial, whatever it is. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> this so is the funny. first time you've ever fished a freshwater crayfish <laughs> yeah. in the ocean. That's cool. That's so funny. It got bit like almost instantly too. Look at no one's all chewed. Oh, there. Oh, there was that's a goat. There. Little female. Yeah. What's crazy is I was telling Oliver earlier. You can tell, um, you know, the, how healthy the population of sheephead is on a spot by the size of the female so anywhere else like you're at catalina island you're catching males that are this size yeah so you know that you know they're, they're they've taken a beating as far as, as uh, fishing is concerned so when you're catching keeper females you know that that certain population is doing doing all right so that's awesome what is the minimum size uh, 12 inches on these nice so that's a she'll, keeper yeah easy. she'll be close trust me i've looked at a lot of 12 inch fish this year <laughs> that's an easy 12. yeah and honestly i'd rather um rather keep these ones this is a good eating size they're not old um and you don't want to keep those big males no nah, no those, over that yeah those are those things are the protector of the reef they eat all the urchins that eat the kelp um uh, yeah you want those big ones for sure that's cool well sorry honey but you ain't gonna make it yeah look at i got i got just the tail left over there on that one that's awesome. But it's confirmed. Yeah, it works. Freshwater <laughs> crayfish for sheephead. Four pound sheephead. I'm hoping it's a sheephead. Oh yeah. Look at oh, that. Double sick hammo. double red. <laughs> That's rad. Check that out. That was a crawdaddy. Or is that shrimp? That was on the shrimp. That was on the shrimp. But honestly, I'll probably, I'm going to try to descend that guy. Yeah. I'll let that guy go, but you're coming home. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, dude, look at that. That's Sick. rad. Oh, yeah. This guy actually might swim down on his own. Double drop. Double down. I'll let you live, little buddy. Go get bigger. Oh boy, I like the sound of that. Well, I don't know. Remember how you oh. It's got head shakes, so it's a giant white fish or it might be a sheep. What was the bait of choice this time? I went with the shrimp again. Just thre oh. threaded it on that hook. Yeah, we're all fishing different stuff. Another red? Ah, Dude, that's another a crawl. Crawl. Check that out. Heck yes. Sick. Dude, that's a that's chunky red. Super sick. He's probably thinking, I've never seen a scrimp down here before. Right? So funny. I... <laughs> Look, he's got, he was chewing on it for a while. He's got the other part down his throat. <laughs> he likes that cooked shrimp. Left me the tail. That's nice of him. That's Red. awesome. It's so funny. I was fishing like 500 feet of water the other day, trying to catch these. <laughs> Here we are, yeah. under 36. Yeah. Or whatever we are. Yeah, sub 200 feet. That's cool. That's yeah. awesome. Stoked. 
beautiful fish too. How would you rate these uh, eating wise? Um, I mean, honestly, they're probably one of my favorite like rockfish to eat. Um, they're fantastic. It's like a nice white flaky meat, great for fish tacos or anything like beer batter, tempera, fried, but I'm sure you guys will cook something good with it. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Oh, look at those eyes too. It's cool when you catch them shallow because you can actually see what their eyes look like. Normally no you catch them in, in the deep water, they're all blown up. That is a pretty fish. Hmm. Rad. Cool, man. That's sick. Ow. Okay, okay. Yeah, look at the eye different. That's so weird. So different. Wow. This guy's eyes blew up. That's what they actually look like. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit cooler. Right? That's awesome. I'm going to slide this forward like 10 yards. Got him? On the slide. On the slide. <laughs> Parker, white snaddy. On the slide. <laughs> All right, Parker got a keeper sand bass. Oh. Got a Bend turn him. roller? <laughs> turn roller. Oh, great Bend pride, so huh? Look at that. Straight all the way through the lip. Wow. Hard to get it out. Yeah. Whoa. The BKK hook got him. Nice keeper sand bass. These things actually eat really good. You can uh, fry them up in peanut oil, some green onions, steam them up. Super good. So I'll, I'll be uh, looking forward to eating this guy later. Nice. Good job, man. The glider. The gliding glider. Did he would you find. He would find the bass. <laughs> <laughs> We're out here trying to catch uh, sheephead, and he's still finding bass. Of course. <laughs> That's like the third or fourth fish on the crawfish. <laughs> yeah, the shrimp, I don't know, the shrimp just keeps getting stolen. I think probably the white fish or smaller fish picked that little shrimp off. But Final the uh, Oliver change. <laughs> I'm sticking to my guns, man. <laughs> Big baits, thick lines, heavy weights. Had my shot. I just need one more. We're good. These boys are filling up the kill bag real nice though. Dude, like I, I can feel All it. All right. Now we're getting them. Short biters. Oh, oh boy. That's, there we go. That's a oh man, look at that little breathing hesitation. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just like worried about losing it, dude. All right. Do you think it was the uh, half-eaten crawdad? I hope so, man. That'd be sick. Email. Oh, yeah. That's Got better. Chompers on hey, that. guess what it ate. <laughs> oh, yeah. All the crawdaddy. So this is why, this is what we're after. And you can look at those jaws and those teeth. That's why they break you off on 40 and 50 pounds. You bastards. Right? <laughs> yeah, Oliver hooked a, hooked a good one on the... Cold-blooded on the live mackerel and he got busted off but that's exactly why look at that so much power on those it's crazy oh boy oh oh, oh dang big, that one's grown uh-oh big dude uh-oh on the oh. squid <laughs> it's a little <laughs> hook too huh you would get bit on the little hook it's okay i'll just let him do his thing what's the update parker well I hooked something big, but I'm on a little tiny hook, and uh, so I've just loosened up my drag a bit, so if he pulls hard, it won't break the hook or pull it out of his mouth. So I'm just going to kind of find him like a trout, see how that goes for me. <laughs> find him like a trout. Anytime he pulls hard, I'm just going to let him do his thing. That's the most bend I've seen put into that Valkyrie today. Yeah. Arm's getting tired. <laughs> right arm or left arm? Let me know once you get right. up. Right. <laughs> not used to this left handed you're, reel. You're not a lefty. I got the net ready when you're getting closer. Give you a new PB? This is a new PB for sure. Oh boy. Look at that head shake. I got deep color. 
What'd it be? What'd it be? Oh, it's a sheepy. Oh, no. <laughs> and the black rifle is in the water. You got him. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, look at all those birds. Dude. That's yeah, a nice a one. one. Hey. Got him. That's a black rifle. That's a triple. That's what you call <laughs> triple a triple shot. right there, boys. Triple shot espresso. Dude, that was pretty heavy. That's a good one, bud. Woo <laughs> On the little strip. Strip of squid, huh? Of course. Tiny strip squid. I've got cornhole twice now with a big mackerel with the heavy gear and a big old hook, and this guy drops a little white fish hook. That's a good one. With the strip. And it's just a, a good one. But that's just how fishing works. He's got like some parasite deals yeah, on him. Yeah, you see him running around? What is that? They gonna uh, they might, on me? Yeah, they might live on you next. Sick. <laughs> Parasites. Cool, good job, man. Thank you. That was sick. How fun is that? That's super fun. They're winding on another one. <laughs> Not much I can say about that. Debug. Don't slack. Jack pull. Oh shit. Double feel, like, feel like a good one? Yeah. Whitey. What's up? That's red. Nice red. There you go. Sick. Okay, that'll work. It's like the perfect yin size right there. Parker's over here with the drop shot just filling the bag. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> drop nice, shot, dude. tiny piece of squid. How's that for a bag? Oh, the rebite! Slacklining him. Slacklining him. <laughs> Gerald Swindle would be proud. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you, bye. What does it feel like? Huh? Oh, oh, okay. That's camera work. Probably another fan bath. Parker slack line in them. On the gliding squid. Gliding squid. I've witnessed to it. Completely slack line on the surface. See it jump. Slack line hooks it. Alright, what are we guessing here? I'm guessing white fish. I'm guessing sandbags. Oh, I'll take sheephead. I know, I know you you definitely got got me. Got you. Oh, big old. Dude, are you is that a starry? Dude, that's a giant that's a starry. Oh my gosh, yeah. that is a giant starry. That's a <laughs> Dude, that is a mega. That's oh the biggest starry I ever got, for sure. Dude, that's a giant. I didn't even realize oh I got that. Need a hook in it for me. Oh my gosh, look at that star. You just wrapped around him a couple times. Yeah, I'll get it. Dude, let me see that thing. That is epic. That's so sick. That is, is that like a three pound starry? Yeah. That's what that is, right? Yeah. It's gotta be. Yeah. Wow. That's a giant, I don't think I've seen one that big to be honest with you. Drop it a little bit lower. There you go. Big saltwater guy. That's awesome. That's sick. Yeah, you, see, you catch these things and they're like freaking like yeah, tiny, ten, yeah, five inches, ten inches. That was that was pretty trippy. So he's fishing like a drop shot with a whole squid, and he hit bottom and he dropped his rod tip and just was just letting that squid kind of slide down. We were watching his line slowly sink, and all of a sudden it jumped and started taking off. And he sets the hook like he's bass fishing. <laughs> big old Bill Dance hook set there. That was awesome. Was big, and big old starry. So what happens if you bring bass fishing? <laughs> All right, we're trying another spot real quick before we head in. Um, that other spot kind of slowed down. All of her double fisted. Love it. We do have some marks right there on the ground. 15 feet off. Oh, mine just got real heavy. Here, I get you. Is that the mac mackerel? Yeah. Oh my God, my God. Is he on there? We're on, we're on, we're on the Mac. 
sick. On the single hook? On the single. <laughs> that looks like you just kind of wound into it. On the mackerel? Oh, yeah. On the mac attack. Check that out. <laughs> that was cool. Well, I went one for three on the mackerel today. I'm not even mad. Stop it. Oh, God. Oh, on the jig? On the jig. Sick, dude. I got that. That's awesome. I might have got jacked. That was for sure good. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. On the little yo yo. Was that a TLC? <laughs> I think so, yeah, actually. Yeah, I got jacked. Damn. Like right when you hit bottom of the yep. shelf. Hey! Got him. There he is. Nice man, that's awesome. On a little yo yo. <laughs> Alright, we just made it back in. We didn't catch any jumbos, but. My bad. No, we had a couple shots at it. Uh, that's all you can do. Bring really... the 200 pound next time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I was getting getting broke off on 45 pounds always fun but we ended up with you know a good oh, let's see big old score so all in all pretty pretty solid day always fun to get out there for a little three-quarter day yeah no went kidding. from a, a half day to a three-quarter day but we're fishermen, we knew that was probably gonna happen anyways, right? Oh yeah. But, no, it was awesome fishing with these guys. Um, look forward to their posts all the time because they're out there slaying the bass. And you guys know that's where my heart and soul's at, is the green, the green ones, but it's nice to do this too. Woo! I think I'm gonna keep one of those sheep head and then let these guys take everything else home because my freezer's pretty full, so you guys take all that. Mine's empty. Mine's yeah. empty. Yeah. Not it won't fun. go to waste but yeah i'm gonna keep one of those sheep head i'll probably cut it uh show you guys how i like to cut the sheep head and then i'm not sure what i want to make with it yet but <clears throat> i'll make something delicious don't worry about that hold on dude you, you look familiar too. too um was that guy uh land shark on yeah yeah that's yeah dude yeah yeah that guy seems pretty cool yeah. he's so cool man yeah, he seems like really really cool. yeah him like, and i watched where you guys did the sushi thing oh over cool it. man that was cool yeah, yeah no uh brooke, brooke and uh, victor are cool people man they're yeah victor and brooke they seem yeah, like yeah, really yeah. really cool that makes people. sense yeah it's, it's cool when you can just have someone over to your house from the other side of the country yeah. and they're just like right. yeah they seem yeah, yeah, along, yeah they seem super humble yes they are What did you say it was? I believe it was around three pounds. 
So yeah, we three the, st the star is a little quarter. over three pounds, so we're, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna double check. That this guy might have gotten the world pounds. record starry, so we're gonna take a look at that. But where'd it go? Yeah, this is uh definitely DFG scale, so you have the kilograms on one side and pounds on the other. Damn sick. There's the starry. So we were just sitting in the truck after my man what's your name of brother? Marcus. Marcus, Marcus yeah. the Department of Fishing Wildlife measured and weighed this giant starry rockfish and he went from the little baby spring scale to the real scale <laughs> so that should have been the first indication yeah <laughs> but i was busting parker's ball i was like dude like that's, that's the biggest just, i don't starry know if you want to zoom fish. in so you can see the so here you can see that it's lined up right at three pounds uh, a little over probably about three and a quarter here and on the kilograms of metric data it's going to go right at uh, 1.4 kilograms Wow. Yeah. So 1.4 kilos. <laughs> That's awesome, we man. We got the catch hole. We didn't cut it yet. And I was busting Sick. Parker's balls at like, dude, you should <laughs> check out what the That's record awesome. is. You probably just caught the world record. <laughs> and he's like, nah, nah, nah. I just Googled it. Local at that, which is impressive. Dude, yeah, that's awesome. Two ounces is, was the standing world record for Starry Rockfish. Yeah. Bro, how do you feel? <laughs> it's all the technique, dude. Actually. <laughs> Six, it's actually right at 16. Sorry, let me flatten it out. And then uh, for centimeters, it is at uh, 410 centimeters. 410. Yep, 410 centimeters. On the certified scale at three pounds, four ounces. And then I, if you guys want to get a picture of that, you can.